Hello everybody, this is just a little reminder video on how to add up in chunks the number talk strategy. Um, and it's just because we've not done it for so long like the other strategies that I thought we could maybe just do a quick video just to remind you how to do it. Um, and it does involve using a number line, you might, might remember that part as well. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to chunk one of the numbers up. And you might remember back when we were doing it, we said that it made most sense to chunk up the smaller number because then there's less chunks to have to add on. So what we will do is we'll start with the bigger number. So regardless of what order they were around, we would probably always want to start with whatever number was biggest. So I'm going to put my 49 over this side here, because that's where we're going to start. And we're going to add this 37 on in chunks. And I know that this sum's maybe quite an easy sum, but it's just to give you a wee idea of how to do it. And um, obviously you can use bigger numbers as well, just using the exact same strategy. So what we want to do next then is think about how could we chunk up the number 37. And obviously there's loads of ways we could do it and there's no right or wrong way of chunking it up. But what we did talk about was some people might like to chunk it using place value first. That's maybe a good place to start. So you might want to think about the fact that the three is actually a 30 and the seven is just a little seven on its own. So straight away, we've already got it into two chunks. But we also said as well that you could break it down further again if you wanted to. So if you wanted to, you could make the 30 into a 10 plus a 10 plus a 10, or you could do it as two 15s, whatever you wanted to do, as long as it still makes up the 30 that it originally was. And now all we need to do now is add the chunks on that we've made. So I'm going to go with these chunks that I've made here. So a 10, 10, 10, and a seven. So that should make it nice and easy, hopefully. So all you would do is you would just start adding the chunks on now. So I'll add on 110, which would take me up to 59. And each time when I've done one chunk, I like to cross them out just to remind myself that I've already done that one and you might want to do the same. Add another 10 on, cross that one out because I've done it. That takes me up to 69. Add another 10 on, which would take me up to 79. And then finally, all I've got to left to add on is this last wee seven here. So I'll cross that out because I'm just about to do that. So add on seven, which would take me up to 86. And so I've added all my chunks on from the 37. So 49 plus 37 must be 86. The strategy is the exact same regardless of the numbers you're using, so it could be something much bigger than that as well. So we'll do a really, really quick example of how that would work with bigger numbers too. So let's say, for example, your number was 233 plus, let's make it, let's just make it up randomly, 565. Now remember what I said before, you want to always chunk up the smaller number because then that's less jumps really, isn't it? It's less work for you to have to do. So we'll start with the bigger number, which happens to be on the right this time, but it doesn't really matter as long as you realize which one is the bigger one. Um, so let's start with that. So 565 will be down in our corner here. And that means we're going to chunk up the 233. So again, you might want to start with place values. So you might want to start with, well, that's a 200, that's a 30, and that's a three. And you might already think, well, that's that's fine, actually. I quite like those chunks. Those are quite nice, easy chunks to add on. And in actually, this case, I feel like these are fine chunks to do. But you might also want to break it down further if you like. So you might want to make that a 100 plus a 100. You might want to make the 30, three tens. It's up to you. It would be completely up to you, as long as the chunks are still making up the full number. So I'm going to keep it as it was, because I actually think that place value makes this nice and easy. So I know that if I add a big chunk of 200 on, so plus 200, that'll take me up to, I just need to add it onto the hundreds column, that'll take me up to 765. I've used that. Add on my 30. Get rid of that. That would take me up to seven, and I'm just thinking about my tens column, 795. And then finally, I'll add on my last three, which is nice and easy. That'll take me up to seven. So now I know that 233 plus 565 equals 798. I hope this has helped if you were kind of struggling to remember how to go about doing this. But if you still need a wee bit of help or anything or just a wee bit of reminding, feel free to get in touch. I'll be more than happy to, to go through it with you on Teams. Have a great day, everybody. See you later.